So, someone asked me about calibration of a kudos pump. In kudos pump, when you want to calibrate the kudos pump, you have to get ready first. So, let's say you're operating at 100 mils per minute. You're running the pump, but you've changed the pump head. You want to verify the flow rate. Maybe your, your readings are not telling you what you need to do, and you want to just double check the flow rate of the pump. Stop your pump. Then you want to go into menu. You want to go into mode. You want to go into flow calibration, which is the second feature down. Now it says, what speed do you want to calibrate the pump? Since we're running around 100 mils per minute, we're going to calibrate it at that. If you wanted to adjust it, you use your up and down arrow key to get you within 10 or 15% of your average flow rate. Then you press enter. Now it says, get ready to go. Get your calibration column, your graduated cylinder ready to go. Get your stopwatch ready to go and zero it out if you want to use a stopwatch. And then, basically you would be ready. So I'm going to turn on a stopwatch here as well so we can do it all together. So as you see, my stopwatch is ready to go. I'm ready to go. I press start to start filling up the graduated cylinder. And I press start on my stopwatch. So the conventional way of doing it would be to monitor on your, your, your stopwatch. When you get to a minute, you stop your pump. Kudos is smart this way. Um, if you're filling your graduated cylinder up, and you're watching the level, as it gets closer and closer and closer to your 100 mils, or whatever volume you have in your graduated cylinder, you would run to that volume, and then you would hit stop. At any time, you can hit stop and read the graduated cylinder and, and write down the volume of what you thought you're pumped. As you can see here, it's telling you that it's pumping 60 mils, 64 mils, so on and so forth. It knows roughly what it thinks it's pumping, but that's why you're calibrating it to verify it. So we're at 44, 46 seconds now, as you can see here. So once I get close to a minute, I'm getting ready to stop my pump. It says press stop to stop the calibration. So I'm watching my stopwatch, and at 60, I stop the pump. So now, it says calibration accuracy improves, improves with higher volumes. We're okay, we want to continue. So it says on the pump that I pumped uh, 103.3 millimeter, milliliters. I checked my graduated cylinder and it says no, actually you pumped 110 milliliters in a minute. So I could go and adjust this level to 110 milliliters. That's what my graduated cylinder says. So 110.0. I enter my value. Now it says for the q 60 pump head we have here, we're actually pumping 8.52 mils per rev instead of 8 mils per rev, which is the factory setting. Do you accept this calibration? And I say accept. So now the pump is recalibrated to the new flow rate. So depending on your suction discharge conditions, you've calibrated the pump now, and it says for your conditions, you're going to pump that volume in a minute. So now, if I adjusted my display down to 100 mils, and I turn the pump on, and I just went and did another grab sample test using my stopwatch, Kudos is extremely accurate. And if it's calibrated to a graduated cylinder, it's as good as the person calibrating it. So you, see, you tell it it's pumping 100 mils, after you calibrate this pump, it'll be within 1%, and half a percent repeatable which is very accurate. If you run this Kudos pump today, next week, next month, in four months, six months, you're going to have the same flow rate coming out of this pump. And you can verify it weekly, monthly, quarterly with uh, another calibration. As you can see, it's very quick and easy to calibrate. Hope this video was informative. Thank you.